There's many different groups of veterans. And some of them have same issues and some of them have really, really different issues. Um, what the VA is really contending with and providers in the VA is um, really a bimodal um, distribution of veterans. We have a much older cohort, so Vietnam veterans that are aging and have their own specific issues. And then we have this much younger cohort, uh, a much more diverse cohort that has more women veterans, um, more veterans from diverse cultural backgrounds. And we're trying to really provide services to both those cohorts at the same time. And as you might guess, they actually need very different things at different times. Um, so some of the older veterans are aging. Um, many of them are transitioning out of kind of lifetimes of work, and that can be a really vulnerable time around PTSD. So when people have been really busy and structured and having lots of um, things that have been keeping their brains busy, um, and then they retire, um, sometimes PTSD or things that have been dormant for a long time can come up. And then also coping with failing health and losing control, that can be a really challenging time. So how to provide those um, individuals with care, and then also the vets that are returning back, also transitioning, I guess transition is one of the big things, transitioning from military life, which is very structured, to civilian life, which is very unstructured, and trying to find a way in the world um, and a way with careers. So we have a lot of veterans who maybe have been in the military for some time. Uh, they were very accomplished and their main jobs really were military specific. So, And you think about how do you apply those skills to a civilian setting and that can be really, really challenging. Um, and then how do you deal with all the choices and the demands, which are just very different. So demands around family and children and work and um, helping those individuals cope with symptoms um, that I often just think about as kind of post-deployment symptoms, not necessarily mental health symptoms, but what's it like to live in this really different environment and then come back and live um, in, in just normal, everyday American life. Um, and those are really different struggles. Also, uh, I'd say a number of our younger veterans are having some health-related challenges that are maybe different than their same-age um, non-military peers. Lots of chronic pain, sometimes um, interesting GI or stomach-related issues, so some issues that maybe wouldn't be expected at such a young age that are coming up um, for our younger veterans.